Topic today is child support. <laughs> child support. <laughs> <laughs> so I seen a I seen a picture on Facebook. This man was wearing this shirt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it on now. It says child support is for absent fathers, not failed relationships. So I feel like child support is um can is used in a way where women try to get back on men. So like dudes. Want to be in their kids' life, but women are so hurt because they didn't work out. Oh, I'm gonna put this nigga on child support. I'm gonna hurt his pockets. So I just want y'all to take on like how y'all feel about child support. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one with the most child support. How y'all? <laughs> well, nah. I mean, it's a it's it's a it's a tricky subject, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't feel like I'm on it for revenge or nothing like that. I feel like it's a it's a way where you get timely payments, you ain't got to worry about it. nobody trying to get back at you later on online. Um, it's affordable, you know, we work together. So that's my experience with it, but I know it is a lot of women that are using that against men um, who are trying to do, I guess, right by their kids, you know, and that is unfortunate, you know, if you want to. Start off with that, you know. I feel, I don't know, they go both. Most times, women get out of a relationship or people get out of a relationship, they know there's only two ways you can really hurt the dude, you know what I'm saying, to me personally. And it's his pockets and his kids. That's what mostly what we care about. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the time, if it don't end good, that's the first thing they resort to. I'm finna get this in. I'm finna mm -hmm. put them on child support, and then I ain't finna let you. But then when you put that into other people's hands, you can't see your kids, but only a certain amount of times, you know what I'm saying? Or only holidays or whatever. And then you still get taxed yeah. seven, eight hundred dollars a month. And then if, on top of that, if your son asks you for something, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel, that's your child. You gotta do it. So you're gonna feel like, him. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna buy a phone. He want the new days. I'm gonna buy a phone because you be like, let's see, I just sent your mama seven hundred dollars. Yeah. No, I asked him for that, but you you gonna feel some. You 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 if you if you love your kids like that, mm -hmm. I don't you feel. Don't to do I, it. Would, I don't have a kid, but I wouldn't feel right like saying like if my son or daughter asked me for something like, well, damn, I sent your mama some money. You can't, but you can, right? You can, 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 you Cause the kids don't know nothing, they especially them. when they young, little yeah. young, just yeah. like, you know, we got teenagers too now, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But the little kids, they don't know nothing about that damn money, you yeah. know what I mean? And the, the thing is, man, you got a lot of good women out there that should put these dudes on child support, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that don't, you know what I mean? And that that's that's the flaw right there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that do need it, you know what Some I'm saying? Mean, I know. think the people who need it need to be on it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you, you know that, if I'm in a relationship, and the whole time we've been in a relationship, I've been handling my business with my kid. Like, at least get, when we get out of a relationship, give me a chance. Give me a chance first mm -hmm. to let you know, you know what I'm saying, that I'm still going to hold my son down. I'm still going to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Now, in the first week or two after, don't have the motherfuckers walking to my job talking about, yeah, <laughs> you have been served. And then you have been served more than seven, eight hundred dollars a month. Yeah, I, I come from, from, it's two different sides of the story for me. Uh, so with me, I don't mind paying my child support, right? I'm gonna be honest, I pay a G a month in child support for one. Right? No, oh, I'm less. For one. So, but like, at first, like, it bothered me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
but uh, I know where that G goes, and it goes to better my son. Yeah. So, and just like we said earlier, you know, if he hit me up, say, hey, you know, I need this, yeah. I'm not going to argue with that because I know at the end of the day, I'm going to get that back tenfold. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I look on the other side, you know, I look at my, you know, my mom and my little brother. This cat's paying twenty dollars in child support. What you gonna do with twenty dollars in child support? Look, look not not, not only that, you gotta think about all the dudes that don't even pay child support and have all this bad child support. But you gotta think of it like this, though, man. My mama told me when I first had my son, um, he was like maybe six months old or whatever, and she said, "If you don't do right by your children, you ain't gonna never be blessed." You know what I mean? So if you want to look at it like that, I, I, that's why I do what I do. Not only because they need it. Because how can, how can you sit around here, buy bottles, wear jigs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't taking care of your jigs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they gonna eat before I before I eat, you know what I mean? So, child support is necessary, but if you can come to it, I would tell any, any person, man, any man, if y'all can come to an agreement, Boom. write it down, yeah. something that, because mm-hmm. the, way, the way the system is, when you on court order child support, if I lose my job today or tomorrow, that shit still got to get paid through the court. Yeah. You know, there's no flexibility with it. I can't holler at my uh, son and mom and say, hey, uh, I'm on hard times right now. Can I miss this month? That's why I tell people to work. I tell the, any young dude, man, like work with them. If y'all not going to be together, come up with a, a realistic amount. Set up an account for him. Mm-hmm. Track that shit just in case you want to try to put you on papers later on down the road. You know, so at least you can say that you won't get hit up with the rears. Yeah, you know I think it's a step further. I don't when it got paperwork like that, notarized. Yeah. Just get it. And file it with the court. Parts, and that get it notarized and hold it, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. So right now, I got, you know, I got kids and shit. <laughs> 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 like, both, all my, me and my baby mama is cool. Mm-hmm. They don't got no paperwork on me. I bet them, you know what I'm saying? They know I take care of my business. They gave me a chance. And know I take my business. If I did fall on hard times, I'd be like, hey, look, Saturday, man, like, yeah. let me get next. Man, get. I'll be calling them now, especially yeah. income tax season. Yeah. Why hit their ass so quick? Yeah. I said, man, give, me, give a nigga a break month. Yeah. <laughs> shit, let him get the hat. Let him get one. <laughs> hey, shit, you just got four. You just got five G. Give a nigga a break month. <laughs> and they might, they be, they be laughing. And they be like, just sit the next month. But we caught me just on some shit. Let you, me get a pair of Jay. You got you to gotta build that rapport, man. Yeah. You and it know, take a while sometimes. It, it takes time, it. time, man. It takes time, you know. So. I, I'm not gonna knock child support because I ain't gonna lie. I got a sister who been doing it on her own for 13 years, and I swear to God, if I see that pussy ass nigga, it it on sight. You know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. I know it didn't look down there, but yeah, you, you taking care of all these other kids that ain't yours, mm-hmm. but your little yeah, all boys, but your your only daughter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, put this nigga on papers, put this dude on papers. You know what I'm saying? And she like, she want to go to high road. I feel her on that, but like I said, it's it's certain people that need it, and it's certain people that abuse it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's just the bottom line right there. I don't feel like I'm being abused because, hell, I got three and I only pay 15, so you pay one for one shit. Yeah, so so I guess that's crazy. That's crazy that you said that because I got my sister with her first child, the dude Cheryl told her, like, I ain't gonna do shit for that kid. And she ain't put, she ain't put on a child support or nothing. Some of them cats, that's how them, some of them that's, dudes that's be. Because some of them, a lot of these situations, man. Mm-hmm. I joke, I go get a female pregnant. I mean, it's two people doing it, dude. He go get the female pregnant. I probably ninety nine percent of time, dude, probably tell the son like, man, I don't want this baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. I don't want this baby. I don't want this baby. And then the female gonna feel they got morals, whatever they gonna have the baby. And then dude feel some type of way over there. I'm not, like, man, fuck it. I told you I don't want the baby. Mm-hmm. You had it, and I ain't finna do shit with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just foul. It's fucked up, yeah. But that's how. That's just how. That's, it how, that's it. the mentality. Yeah, that's you know. the mentality. I don't want to fuck you, me either. We had one night, two nights stand, or something. Are you, you're not even my main chick, I'm fucking on it. Yeah. It's supposed to be strapped up, I ain't strapped up. Yeah. I got to print, I'm telling you, I don't want the motherfucker. Yeah. And, and, I, like, you, and you keep the baby, now nah, it's, it's like, man, I don't want to. You like your hand for us or something like and, that. And I think with us, you know, we, like the position that we in, you know, our mentality is totally different, you know what I'm saying? Because we've seen, we've seen uncles, mm-hmm. cousins, everybody did it where we from, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, that's why like, I'm just speaking for me. I don't mind, like, I literally do not mind paying it at all. Because, like I said, if it increases my son's value, mm-hmm. I pay that bread. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I take it one step even further. I paid the G and I paid the mortgage for where they stayed at. Damn. 
You know, money bag. That's how they. So they what they did with me. Money bag. I was living overseas. You know the situation. I was living overseas. So I didn't want to be Texas. They paid me. They gave me like eleven hundred dollars to give a month. She stayed with a moment, so I'm giving you eleven hundred dollars on top of that. I'm paying for the charger, the car. I got a two new cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a new car. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Cause at first she was like, you know, I split the money with you, whatever, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, you know, she ended up keeping the bread or whatever. You know what you love though, man. You give me a lot of stuff, man. You got when you got the good thing is, man, is when you got uh, a baby mama or whatever the case that 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 you got a good rapport with, you know what I'm saying? Cause like when I get my kids, I don't pay. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of things that people don't realize, you know what I'm saying? That even when you got the jet for a month, two months, if you don't call all the child support, that shit's still coming out your check. Mm-hmm. But see, when I get my jets, they send that money right back to me. That's love, that's the report mm-hmm. because it's child support. So if yeah. the child is in my custody, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? They, they woman enough, they grown enough to sit here and say, you know what, the child with you, you this is this money for they, you know, whatever they need, whatever, whatever going on, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I, I feel like, man, a lot of times, by trying to duck and dodge the issue, like Rio said, as far as saying I ain't want the kid, nothing like, once the jit here, the jit here, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you got to man up to that, whether it was planned or not, you know what I mean? Because it's going to come regardless, it's going to come in one way or another, you know what I'm saying? She going to hit you for it, the state going to hit you for it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? The life going to hit you for it, you know what I'm saying? Because there ain't too many cats out here doing good who ain't taking care of their kids, I'm yeah. sorry, man. If you look at the, if you look at the whole scheme of things, you know, so child support is necessary. You know what I mean. It just need to be fair. I think it need to be a little bit more regulated. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. As far as when you talk about the system mm-hmm. and how they do it, you know what I mean. Because they, it was a young brother I met uh, a few years ago, and he psh, wasn't putting in too much bread, but on paper he was. Mm-hmm. So they take twenty five percent. Yeah, and his twenty five percent. Was like nine hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying for one kid, but he wasn't he wasn't making it like that mm-hmm. on paper. It mm-hmm. looked like you know what I'm saying because of his position at the time. Mm-hmm. You know you get what I'm saying yeah. where, he, where he was located. Mm-hmm. But then when he get back to his regular location, mm-hmm. but shoot, all that money gone. So mm-hmm. but he still got to come out there living in the dorms. But mm-hmm. but damn. but you know but damn. I understand what you're you saying. What I'm saying right he, now. But he is but that's that's his fault. All right, hear me out. No, 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 hear me out. It was his lawyer's fault. Yeah, but ultimately, he, it's he, his fault. He did retain a return, uh, uh, retain attorney, but he wasn't. I don't know if I can say this. No, no, no. I know what you're saying. <laughs> we we went, No, we know what you're saying. <laughs> but, 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 but. So I was. So it's. it's I, I can't say the same with me because I've been paying base rate no matter where I go. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm here. I make some extra bread. I go back home. A thousand, fifteen hundred shorter. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but he has to go back and justify that. You know what I'm saying? He can, he literally can go back and say, "Hey, I'm not making this amount anymore, so it can get reduced." I, I told, and they can't, they can't argue that. I, I told him, and I, I tell anybody, um, when if it does come down to the system, it's one letter and one number, and that's all they get from me. Mm-hmm. W two. <laughs> 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 That's it though. That's what it boils down to. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So, and you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, but they really be on that. I mean, they do. They be tripping, man. They really do, man. Yeah. The times boy. and then they get to the point where, like these, I'm gonna say celebrities, superstars. That's what I was, I was just about to get these, that one. These superstars okay. dropping about twenty thousand, thirty thousand. <laughs> Make it. Nas was paying fifty thousand dollars a month to um, what's her name, Khalees? Khalees for that damn to fifty thousand dollars a month. But, but so, 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 again, I'm on the fence about both of those, right? Because if if you look, uh, if you if you if you look if you look at them, or you look at us, right? You look at what they make, you know what I'm saying? Look at their salary and what they have in the pockets compared to what we have in the pockets, right? Theoretically, they're paying the same thing that we're paying. Yeah. Just just because it's say twenty five, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
Do you see what I'm saying though? So, it's, so, but it's tough. So speaking on that, so do you think some of these women who sleep with like celebrities should be getting all this bread for a kid like two hundred fifty thousand a month? Shit, oh, that's 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 like, that's like, what they doing on purpose though. So mm -hmm. I'm, you you playing ball, you you the, you the superstar. Mm -hmm. I go to the club after you gonna come up on me. I bust the you fuck you cut the roll off. Mm -hmm. I bust in you. You cut the roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how you hit the <laughs> leg. You know. 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 Yeah, I mean, these girls, are, these girls out here hitting licks. <laughs> hey, but y'all, that's what they hit licks like that. That's a, that's a, you pay for for the rest of your life for eighteen years. My thing, like, it should be, it should be a cap, man. It is, but they don't count. They don't count. Man, that twenty five percent of your goddamn. That's it. That's what they count. Twenty five is the cap, though. You know what you make up into? Twenty five percent of that. I'm saying, but like, it should be like a cap. Like, alright, but you don't need two hundred fifty thousand dollars. But if you a month, you pay two hundred thousand. If you pay two million, twenty five percent, my nigga. That's what we talking about. Like, I don't. That ain't right. That ain't right. It ain't right. I mean, it ain't right. Look, head of state. It ain't right. It don't really hurt them. You know what I'm saying? Just go to Europe and tell them they ain't talking about that shit. Look, man, you, you don't see that dude on the team or whatever that dude that paid child support. He gonna get like three hundred dollars check, and after everything was gone, he had six hundred dollars. I said, damn, boy, that shit. I couldn't imagine. Now, how you gonna live off that shit? You know what I mean? Nigga can't rent a Netflix. <laughs> 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 you, better, you better share it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta share it with everybody. Yeah, but yeah man. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it should be. But most states, man, 25%, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anybody else in the crowd? I, I love them niggas. Like, nope, I'm good with my people. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, like, I'm good with my people. <laughs> so, do y'all feel like some women will take that child support money? And don't provide it to the kid. Do you think it should be consequences for that? Man. You know what I mean? Like, you know what? That, <laughs> you know what? Man, I, that used to bother me when I first started paying. Like, what, the, what they doing with the money? What they doing with the money? Mm -hmm. It don't really matter, man. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's going to my kid. If I, I keep that mentality one way or another, whether a bill getting paid or mortgage getting paid, getting paid, stuff like that. You know what I mean? If I see my uh, if I see my kid lacking anything, then I question it. But as long as when I'm around him, I see him and everything is taken care of. I don't give a damn what she do. Yeah, what he says, I don't really care what he do. I think he do. Yeah, yeah, but it, but it gets tough though. You know what I'm saying? Like we all have the same mentality when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? But you do have those. I, I was gonna say women. You do have those men and women that take advantage of them. You know what I'm saying? But they're afforded that opportunity. You know, people gonna take advantage of any situation that they have, you know what I'm saying? So if you're gonna pay me twenty five G's to live a good life, you think I'm not gonna live a good life? You told me to try. Yeah, absolutely. You think I'm not gonna live a good life? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, ultimately as long as the kids taken care of, it's fine. You know, I I well I can't say I spend it because I don't see it. Yeah, that shit's gone. Or it's the 15th. As long as it's just good, man, I don't give a damn what you do with the damn money shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. As long as when, I, when my kids come around, they got nice clothes on, they, they ain't look like they ain't been, you know, um, neglected or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? They happy, then I'm happy. You'll lose your goddamn mind thinking about what they do with that oh, damn yeah. money. Because, you know, you got, you got a boyfriend, they got a husband, and shit like, probably spend it on that damn nigga. Like, <laughs> Yo, G, spend on another dude. Man, it would be shit. Good luck, shit. I'm straight, shit. All the child. Don't be like good. Yeah. Don't lose your mind wearing my stuff like that, man. Trying to justify where that money went. Yeah, you lose your goddamn mind, man. Ain't even that side. I know I done got a lot of polo for me. Polo. That check came in. Oh, shit. Let's go to Mexico. That temperature is coming in, boy. Oh, look at that. Apparently, I've been doing it wrong. Hey, I'm going to take some notes. And half of my collection. Oh, you got your child's book? You got your child's book? Check out the book. That 
go to Kobe. Oh, yeah, you Kobe steak? We need to do it this weekend. Yeah. But, yeah, but, uh, but I tried to do some research on it, but I had to stop. But, <laughs> but it's necessary. You know what I'm saying? Because it holds people accountable. Because, you know, people can go out and, you know, do whatever the fuck they want to and don't have to worry about repercussions. You know what I'm saying? But there's also that side of it that I don't agree with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, dudes be getting locked up. I got you. Oh, yeah, you pay for it. Oh, yeah, I got $106,000. I don't even know who that is. Some shit behind it. How the fuck you get that far behind? Well, that's a lifetime, nigga. Shit. Alright, hey, that will make y'all the worst shit. They can see about that shit too, because they take them up with a license. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They put me in jail, man. They ain't not playing about that child support, man. Mm-hmm. That's, that's all that's fucked up. I mean, once you take it, you can't get the work. You get the work, you kill that shit, but. And how you gonna. Still, it's just making a worse, worse situation. Yeah. Yeah. You get down a certain amount, you, you go into jail, they're going to pick your ass up, take you to jail, even if you're trying. That's why you said, like you said, it's best to be on good terms when they already know what time it is. Yeah. So, I can do this this one a month. Do you think the system should be redesigned, though? Man, it's archaic, man. You know what? I ain't going to lie, man. It's, it's, um, it's, it's made like this because... Man, back in like the 60s and 70s and stuff like that, like the family was, you know, was strong, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the drugs came in and all that stuff and they started tearing up the body and stuff like that. And motherfuckers weren't paying their way. They were leaving, they, they were leaving whole families behind and starting new families somewhere else. But without no um, repercussions or whatever. So the government started getting involved with like, you know what, we sit here giving all these people money for welfare, EBT and all that stuff. Y'all motherfuckers like to get some of them, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's basically what happened, man. And it kind of like, it hasn't been changed, so, you know, people feeling the effects nowadays, you know what I'm saying? There's some good dudes out there that's struggling, you know what I'm saying? And there's some people that, that's getting over, but I feel like it definitely, definitely, it definitely needs to be like, we looked at it or whatever. I feel like know, it's going to be But it's by state, it's state by state too, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unfortunately, Florida one of the worst states for child support. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... You know, it, it should be looked at, man, because I think that was designed for a different because the government was was providing so much, you know what I'm saying, assistance. They, they're like, you're tired of this, like, you gonna, we're going to hold, and it was always a single mom, you know what I'm saying? It's really the same day. How you feel about men getting custody of their kids? I think that's important, you know? Mm-hmm. You feel like they, they get over, that the women most win most of the time? Absolutely. But this is the system. The system, the system I had, a, I had a buddy, man. He had two girls. The wife was a um, wife was an alcoholic. Um, she didn't work, and he was paying her child support. And this man put up close to twenty thousand dollars, sold his motorcycle, um, did everything in his power to get custody of his daughters. And the only reason why he did is because she didn't show up to the court date. Yeah. That's the only reason. You get what I'm saying? So he had to go through all that, spend all that money. And had she showed up, it'd have just been yeah. ongoing. But because she didn't show up, he ended up being custody his daughter. So it shouldn't be that hard, man. You know. So <laughs> why do why do not why do fathers not get the kids more often, like in a custody case like that? I don't know why it's like that, but it just seems. Well, I mean, maybe I ain't, I ain't really seen like I, just, <laughs> I ain't seen like I haven't done my actual research, but it just seemed real biased. That was. I feel like I'm in a good situation right now, mm-hmm. and the me and Shorty was to split. And I said, like, I wanted my son. I feel like I should be able to get my son. I had just much mm-hmm. chance to see dude, but it, it feel like ninety percent of the time they going to the womb. Yeah, and we gotta we end up. I can understand that she been up from the mother's womb and stuff. Like, I can understand that. You know what I mean? But like in my case, my son, he a daddy's boy, mm-hmm. so he he this he loved me to death. You know what I'm saying? She know that shit. So to be like, if you ask him what he wanted to do, he gonna say, I want to go my dad. Mm-hmm. Not a certain age, they can make that. Yeah, he's he five now, but it's, oh, it's a little older. So that's not actually true. I thought that was I thought that was the case. Mm-hmm. They, uh, you know, that's the old myth that yeah, at a certain right. age they can go, they can choose a parent. Mm-hmm. That's not how that works mm-hmm. at all. Because so for me, I love my boy. Everybody know that's you know that's me mm-hmm. through and through. So when I was going through that bitter phase, 
was like, fuck it. As soon as he turned 14, he's coming with his dad. You know, that's where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck that. So I'm counting down the clock. Oh, he's 14. He's coming with me now. You can't, it, that's not really how it works. So if a mom gets, the only way a mom doesn't get the child, she has to be a shitty individual. Unfit. Unfit. And that's, that, that's what the word is. Yeah, yeah so. Exactly. So doing, doing, doing what we do, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind my son being with his mom. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, we're going to do whatever we need to do to see our kids, right? And uh, so with mine, we have joint custody, you know what I'm saying? And it's not to the point where the divorce decree say you get them here, here, and here, right? So whenever I want my son, I get my son. You know what I'm saying? Hey, here in June, we're going to Rome, we're going to Paris. Cyprus. Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> Daddy Warbucks. Drew McDuck. That's why I like that guy. You know what I'm saying? But, but, you know, all jokes aside, so, like I said, it's, it's hard coming from us because our mentality is totally different. Yeah, we're a little you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you, you, tell, you, put, you put a pound on 19 year olds with some kids, but you have a whole other conversation. A whole other conversation. <laughs> conversation. And, and they mad that they, they're getting garnished. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But look. We lay in that bed, we got to sleep in it. Play, you know what I'm saying? As simple as that. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't I don't mind child support. I don't mind it like I one bit. I was pissed off first yeah. ten months I had to pay for it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but after that, you know, it, it's cool. It's and then as they get older, man, like well, you can actually interact with yeah. it. Because you you said the child support, you got an infant, you know, so a couple months old or whatever. You're like, man. $500 for the old man. <laughs> 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 How much your Gucci diapers cost? <laughs> you know what I mean? But they, they, they get older, man. You know, because women, obviously, women have a, a natural connection with the, from the, with the baby uh, throughout the pregnancy and all that stuff. But men, I'm sorry, like, we we have to, like, see, we have to, we a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know this is not true. I got to connect with the yeah. baby, you know what I'm saying? I really like this movie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, man, but it, it is a good thing, man. Child support is a good thing. As long as it's you right, man. I don't, I just, I'm, I'm with Kimo on that, man. I don't mind paying, you know, she a couple more years, one on me out the door, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, a couple dollars in my pocket, but you still gonna have to pay your way throughout, you know what I mean? Life. It's just that you prepare him so that he ain't gotta go through the same thing either, because, you know, being, being a daddy at 19, and I don't know what responsibility, but no responsibility is, man. My whole twenties, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? I've been paying since I was 19 years old, so it is. I don't want him to do the same thing. Now I will tell him to, you know, slow it down, slow down. <laughs> 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 At least you, at least you, them, you know, calm or some protection or something like that. So I will tell you that. <laughs> All right. So I appreciate y'all for joining this panel. That is another episode of Poor TV. Are you supposed to do the banging now? No, are you supposed to do the banging now? No. <laughs> <laughs>